guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, we are having a, um, the Canadian Olympiad uh, Max Challenge. So let's look, look at how we solve the question x to the power of 2 plus x to the power of 2 all over x plus 1 squared equal to 3. What are going to be the possible values of x? So we are going to find the possible values of x. How do we find that? So let's start. First, I will write down the question. We have solution here. We have x squared plus x squared all over x plus 1 all squared equal to 3. So we are going to be dealing with the left hand side. Uh, how do we do that? First, you can see that x squared is common to both terms. So what we do is to factorize x squared. So we have x squared, uh, then open brackets, 1 plus 1 all over x plus 1 all squared, close square bracket, equal to 3. So next is to simplify the expression in the square, we did the square brackets, so we're going to have x squared. So the LCM is x plus 1 squared, that will be the LCM, x plus 1 squared. <coughs> so this will give us x plus 1 squared plus 1, plus square bracket equal to 3. And then what I'm going to do now is to move over the next side of the board. So what I'm going to do now is to expand this bracket open. So I have x squared. So we have this will give us x plus one, x plus one plus one all over x plus one squared equal to three. And so we have x squared open brackets, x squared, once we expand this bracket, we're going to have x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 1, all over x plus 1, all squared, close bracket equal to 3. And so, we are going to have next, uh, x squared, open square brackets, x squared plus 2x plus 2, all over x plus 1 squared equal to 3. So now I'm going to do something here. What we have in, in the bracket is a single fraction. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to express this into partial fraction. That we split it up into two different fractions but with the same denominator. So what I'm going to do now is x squared is I will take x squared first all over x plus 1 squared plus 2x plus 2 all over x plus 1 squared equal to 3. So uh, next I have x squared open square bracket x squared over x plus 1 all squared plus so I'm going to factorize 2 out here we have two brackets, x plus 1, all over x plus 1, all squared. So, I move over to this end. So, from that end, um, x plus 1, we cancel out one of the x plus 1's here. So, what we're going to have now is x squared open square brackets x squared over x plus 1 squared plus I'm going to have 2 over x plus 1 equal to 3 so now I'm going to open up the brackets so I have x squared times x squared will give me x to the fourth over x plus 1 
1 squared plus x squared multiplied by 2, that will be 2x squared all over x plus 1, then everything is equal to 3. So what's the next thing now? I'm going to do something here. Now I'm going to uh, rewrite this as x squared over x plus 1. All to the power of 2 plus plus x squared to the power of 2 is x to the power of 4. x plus 1 to the power of 2 will be x plus 1 to the power of which is a squared. x plus 1 squared. So we have plus 2 bracket x squared over x plus 1 equal to 3. So the idea, the, the trick, the trick is to to solve this in such a way that we are going to have x squared over x plus 1 as a common factor. So what we now do is to say, we we'll use substitution, let m equal to x squared over 1 plus uh, x plus 1. So that our equation now becomes a simple quadratic expression. So it's going to be m squared plus 2m equal to 3. We have m squared plus 2m minus 3 equal to 0. So I uh, can factorize this by saying m squared minus m plus 3m minus 3 equal to 0. So what I did is to simply look for two numbers whose product will give us minus 3 and whose sum of difference will give us plus 2. And that's where you have it. So we group and then factorize. So we have between m squared and m, m is common, so we have m minus 1 plus between 3, m and 3, 3 is common, you have m minus 1 equal to 0. So I'm going to rub up this silent part. So we have. Um, Okay, so from here now, we have that m minus 1, bracket m plus 3 equal to 0, so m minus 1 equal to 0, or m, minus m plus 3 is equal to 0. So from here we have m equal to 1, or m equal to minus 3. Now, for case 1, m equal to 1. So when m equal to 1, so what do we get? We get x squared over x plus 1 equal to 1. That will be x squared equal to x plus 1. x squared minus x minus 1 equal to 0. So to solve this using the quadratic formula, we are going to get x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a because where the values of a and b, a, b and c are so from here a equal to 1 a is minus 1 and c is minus 1 so from here we have x equal to minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of Minus 1 squared minus 4 minus 1 times uh, minus 1 all over 2 times 1. So x will be plus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 5 all over 2. Sorry, 1 plus 4 rather. 1 plus 4 over 2, so our x now will be, x will be 1 plus or minus square root of 5 all over 2. That is um, for case 1, therefore case 2. For 
case two. For case two, we have m equal to minus three. So we have x squared all over x plus one equal to minus three. So we have x squared equal to minus three. Open bracket x plus one. So x squared equal to minus three x minus three. So x squared will give us plus three x plus three equal to zero. So let's find the value of x. We use our quadratic formula. So x will be minus, so a is 1, b is 3, and c is 3. So our x will be minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we have x will be equal to uh, minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 3 all over 2 times 1. So x so x will give us minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 12 all over 2. So we have x equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 over 2. So we have x equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 times square root of minus 1 all over 2. Of course, Square root of minus 1 is i. So we have x equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3i all over 2. So these are the solutions. So this is the second solution. And then we have, so there are four different solutions to that uh, Canadian Olympiad mathematics. I see you in the next class, uh, guys. If today is your first time of coming across my channel, I encourage you to subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, please give me a thumbs up and then of course, leave your beautiful comment in the comment section. See you in my next video. Thank you.